Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another gameplay video. Today we're playing some fucking Hearts of Iron 4 as the Socialist States of Austria-Hungary, or the People's Republic of Austria-Hungary, however you want to say it. But, um, yeah, so far we have achieved in breaking through into Northern Africa. Um, the Allies are losing substantial amounts of land in Africa, but, unfortunately, the United States is a part of the Allies, so we're going to have to deal with them. But, also, I guess, the United Kingdom is a part of the Allies as well. We're going to have to deal with them too. So, I got some advice from the comments, my homies in the comments, and uh, said I should probably paradrop into England, or so on and so forth. Now, it's probably for the Saudi Arabia campaign I'm playing, but it's a good idea to try to pair drop into England, considering I have aerial superiority in that region. Right? So, let's say, for instance, we have 884 fighters in the sky, and the United Kingdom has 386, but we have substantial air superiority. That means that we can put some transport planes up there, and try to drop some paratroopers and now we're making transport planes and we might be able to stick a couple of them in here in Normandy no I don't want all of them ah okay so we're gonna get 15 I think that's if I could do the math correctly that would fill up the rest of it until it gets to 1,200. So, 15. There we go. Now, these transport planes are going to transport some paratroopers that I'm currently not making right now. That I currently don't have. Did, have I made a group of paratroopers yet? So, they're, they're going here in Thuringen. So, let's, um, let's stick these guys somewhere where they're going to be useful. And we're going to know where they're at. So let's stick them in Krakow, right smack dab in the center. They're not being they're, that's not being occupied by any infantry troops. And as soon as they're done, we're not gonna we're not gonna stop them now because their their current deployment level is green. That means that they're that's their rank when they come out. So we don't want that. We want them to be as, as powerful as possible in order for us to invade the United Kingdom from the air. We're not going to be able to do it by the sea, unfortunately. But we will do it by the air. You know, we're on that one. And we have 21 now. 21 destroyers. I'm oh, sorry. Not 21 destroyers. We have 9 destroyers, 1 battleship, and 11 submarines. That's because we've been making them over here. Now let's put a cap on that. So, let's get 20 more destroyers. Let's get... Five more battleships, and then we'll get fucking 20 more submarines as well. Then we're going to split those submarines off into a separate navy, so we can use them to raid convoys for the United Kingdom. Where are all these planes going? Damn. That's a lot of heavy fighters. Holy shit. What's this? Oh, there's some, oh wait, there's some troops here. Can we do a naval invasion? Nah, they still have naval superiority. As soon as we get this fleet built up, we'll uh we'll do a naval invasion of this little island down here, Malta, I believe is what it's called. Yep. After that, we should have the Mediterranean pretty much secure. Then we're gonna take these two islands here, Corsica and Sardinia. Take these islands back, the Balearic Islands. Then we'll do a naval invasion probably of this port here in Tripoli. And yeah. So we're in World War III right now, ladies and gentlemen, just in case you haven't figured that out. We already defeated Germany. World War II is already over. But now we have to defeat the Allies because, you know, they decided to attack us. I kind of for I forget how the war started. But anyway, it doesn't matter anymore. Let's continue forward. We have a nuclear bomb at our disposal. And last time we nuked the shit out of southern England... Is that what we want to do again? I don't know. 
Let's see. What what can we do with our air force right now? Okay, let's go to Indochina. How we doing? We're not doing too bad. The American forces here aren't very they're crumbling a little bit. They're not in full blown retreat, but they're not uh it's not looking good for them. What the fuck? There's nothing down here. Come on. You guys have no obstruction whatsoever and you're just fucking sitting there. There you go. Hopefully this will give us it'll give us this territory. And not fucking Thai People's Republic. Who's it give it to? It gives it to the fucking Soviet Union. God damn it, every time. Hopefully the Soviet Union will be kind enough to give us this rubber because this province down here in Singapore has so much fucking rubber. If we take that, it'll be a big blow to uh, the United Kingdom's production in the sky. However, pretty sure there's a lot of rubber. There's some rubber here in Africa, but that's nowhere near enough to sustain British, the British Air Force. And the Spanish took some rubber there in Liberia. Um, all in all, Africa's like the most useless fucking place on this game. Not in real life. Africa's perfectly fine in real life. I gotta make that clear. Because YouTube might demonetize my video for saying something sensitive. But anyway, except for Southern Africa down here, they actually have quite a few resources. Everything else is kind of like, where'd all of it go? That's probably because this is just desert here, so that makes sense. There's not a whole lot of resources there. Let's reestablish this front line here. Was this in Africa? So let's create a new offensive line to encompass this airport here. Maybe we can put a couple planes there. Try to help us out. All right, let's carry out this attack and see how that works. So we're actually being attacked right now down here. And what just happened? Like who 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 attacked who? <laughs> Literally like American troops were standing beside our our troops. We're having a hard time taking that, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, we're not gonna worry about it. We're winning up here, that's all that matters. Nice. So how's this looking? So the the Soviet Union has taken all these resources. That's that's good. That helps us out a lot. God damn, we're we're, we're way too slow taking these resources. Way too fucking slow. Is it this province alone? Because if it is, we're going to take it. The Soviets just get a bit giant boost in uh, rubber. We're making some pretty good progress over here in Indochina. Um, I think the problem is is that we have... We don't... I think we're using way too much supply than we have in this region. Yeah, we have way too many soldiers here. But the United States doesn't have as much as we do so we might be able to cheat the game a little bit you know just out of sheer numbers being able to push through but to be honest with you I don't think we're gonna be able to do it just because we lack you know reasonable organization to attack this area I'd say we should cut this army in half again up here, cut this in half. And then make that into a separate army. And then we'll keep the 37 there. And we'll bring these 22 divisions somewhere else. Where do we need them the most? Let's see. Where are these 22 divisions most useful? Because we have we pretty much have Asia completely under control now Africa is getting there Europe mainland Europe is getting there the only thing we need to do now is begin the land land and um, begin the naval and air invasions that's what we need to do
So we can try to come back into Europe with these 22 divisions to see if we can... I think our military is just too large for us to know how to know what to do with it. Like, <laughs> we don't... We have way too many soldiers than we need, you know? We could pull these guys out of Indochina, but where would we put them? Where are these soldiers desperately needed? Or at least, where could they be of use? I'm thinking maybe here, but 22 divisions might cap the sub, go beyond the supply of that region. You know what? Let's just stick them in the reserve. Right? So we have 79 divisions in reserve now. And these guys should be leaving. Leaving the area. Hopefully now there's enough supply in this region for us to use. There is not. Okay. So we probably have to break off some more divisions. Let's cut this in half and then go put these guys in the reserve. Maybe now we'll have enough supply in this region, considering we only have 26 divisions now. Not even 26 divisions either. Some of our divisions are down here. Put these guys into one army. And they can just attack that, which they did successfully. Okay, we took Singapore, and it was given to the Thai People's Republic. Now, we don't want that We don't want that to be. I want to ask the Thai People's Republic if they would allow us control of Singapore, Singapore, right? They've refused. Okay. I'm about to fucking snap on these people. I'm about to betray the common turn for fucking acting like a bunch of assholes. You drop a nuclear bomb on the Thai People's Republic? No. Well, of course not. They're probably reluctant to give up any territory because, you know, their home territory still isn't taken back yet. So, there's no straight here, so we can't just walk across into the Netherlands. Oh, are we at war with the Netherlands right now? Yeah, so we can't do that. I guess these ten divisions can just go to the reserve. Since looks like the Soviets are now occupying Singapore and attempting to prevent an invasion. We still have way too many troops in this region. Seriously, Tom, what is the fucking god damn it? What is your infrastructure in this region, dude? Shit. Yo, I may just leave altogether. Because it looks like the Soviets got it taken care of. So all the troops in Indochina, I'll put you in the reserve. Yep. See you later. You don't need me. Looks like you guys got that shit taken care of. So I'm just going to let you guys, I'm going to leave you guys to it. And bring all my troops back to the reserve until they're needed somewhere else. There we go. Maybe I should actually keep some behind like these guys to guard this area here yeah we'll keep them there and then we'll put these guys in a new uh, new theater and we'll call it call this theater Burma Burma or Myanmar, one of the two. We'll just say Burma. That's good. Who dares wins? Okay. We have some free civilian factories that we can build shit with. So, still I have no idea what we would use these for anymore. Like at this point, we could just keep building up our military factories and just keep fucking fueling our war machine even more. We can get more synthetic refineries, but we don't need that. 
Rocket sights are kind of useless. Fucking, they just stick in the ground. As you can see, the rockets are still stuck in the ground. That's weird. <laughs> um, maybe we should put more air bases in Normandy to increase the capacity because we're allowed to have a thousand two hundred planes, but we want more. That's what we want. We want to have more planes in the sky. Doesn't seem like our paratroopers have deployed yet. They're almost there. They'll be there in the 3rd of August, 1946. So, two months from now. Okay. And we can use our now mili free military factories to build something. What are we doing with these heavy tanks down here? What are they for? Heavy tank threes. We can get modern tanks. Yeah, let's stop building shit. Stop building heavy tanks, and we're we're just gonna get modern tanks. Stop with the threes. So we're just gonna keep. We're gonna start building modern tanks, and eventually, we're gonna, um, you know, fucking change all the heavy tank divisions we have to modern tanks. Is that a smart move? Is that the right thing to do? I'm not entirely sure. Okay. We have our technology for advanced landing craft complete. So we can carry out invasions of a hundred soldiers. You know, on a naval attack. Let's increase the uh, stats for our paratroopers. Because we're going to do a paradrop of England. And we want to do as much damage as possible. Uh, let's increase the field hospitals. Stats for them. And we'll continue forward. Do our soldiers actually have field hospitals with them? No. Are we using field hospitals at all? Doesn't seem like we are. Let's take a look at our infantry division. Is this is the infantry division we're using. The Prince's Guard. Here we go. Um, no, we do not have field hospitals we can so let's get some field hospitals with the prince's guard and save that and that should help us out substantially there stops trickle back I don't know what that means but you know it's a good thing if it stopped No, uh, wait, wait, fuck, I don't want to be a part of that. Uh, shit. Oh, what do you do? There. Stop that. Go back. You can be a part of the French garrison right there. Yep. There you go. And the paratroopers are almost complete, like, 3rd of August, right? Yep. That's next month. Less than a month now. We've got the full destroyer tech done. We'd probably be better off to get some better, some super heavy battleships, but we don't want that. But they'll fuck somebody up out there if they don't stop that stupid shit. Let's take a look at our land doctrines. Have we completed that? Yep. Let's pause this real quick. Um, we can get the last advanced sent centimatrix radar, but it's not really all that useful anymore, to be honest with you. I don't find much of a use to it. Let's take a look at our industry. So we've completed most of our stuff that we've needed, that we need. Right. Our artillery is all done. Do we need any of this? I mean, we could we could probably use some anti tanks. Anti-air, I don't think that's necessary. So let's get some let's get some anti-tanks, right? Anti-tank fucking equipment. So we can start equipping some of our soldiers. A new division we'll create to make as an anti-tank. We have better air experience. So what we can do with air experience is that we can actually in make new models of our fighters. Say for instance, we're making jet fighters here. We can actually increase make a new variant of jet fighters. So, 
if we want to make this significantly stronger than it is, we can increase these things, which will allow us, which will make it much stronger. And we'll call this jet the uh, air kami kami. Uh, we'll call it the kami hawk, right? So that's the kami hawk. We created this, and then we can just replace that. And this requires a lot more rubber, which we would have if the Thai People's Republic didn't decide to take Singapore when we fucking took it. God damn it. It's okay. We can just trade rubber with the Thai People's Republic because now they have all the fucking world's rubber. We can just trade it, even though we don't own it, even though I'd like to own it. It's fine. We're okay. Now we have a variant that we can use that is significantly better than, you know, the original model. We're getting better air support. We can get a better tactical bombers. That's what we. Use, that's what you use air experience and navy experience for. To get better models, right? So now we're making better ships. And I don't know why we're putting it all in the one navy. That's weird. Well, we've got battleships. Fifteen more. Three destroyer ones, and then the rest are the highest it can go. So now that we have our air set up, you know what I mean, our fucking aerial superiority, all we have to do now is wait for these paratroopers to drop, okay? So that means we're nearly there. And once these paratroopers drop, we're going to probably put them onto a port somewhere. Now we can't see on the coast of the United Kingdom, that's the problem. And we don't know which port in the UK, in southern England, that is actually undefended. That will, I mean, that isn't defended as much as the other ports. So before we actually drop, we're going to drop like 14 nuclear bombs onto like one of these ports. Then we're going to drop our paratroopers in there. So we're going to do preemptive nuclear strikes on a port to soften it up so these paratroopers can go in and attack. That's our plan. Will it work? Probably not. But it doesn't hurt to try. Looks like these guys are finally getting here. Let's check down here into China. How they're doing. They're doing okay. If you guys hear something, like, you know, outside, considering we're in a room, you might hear something in the background. Some, uh, some workers doing something out there on the road. Um, I'm not sure what it is. I haven't checked to see what they were doing, but it's making a lot of noise. So if you hear it, I apologize. Uh, I'll try to do some magic, work some magic in Premiere or whatever, see if I can muffle that noise or cancel it out or something. Or you know what, I'll just let you fucking hear it. You probably can't hear it, which is fine. You're probably wondering what I'm talking about. And in that case, don't fucking worry about it. <laughs> so Afghanistan's completely surrounded by Soviet troops. Are we actually going to attack? Is that beneficial to us to attack Afghanistan? We'll leave Afghanistan alone. We'll let them leave them to their own vices there. Or div vices, however the fuck you want to say. Cyprus, still a British fucking colony thing. And, uh, it's the 31st of July. We've got aerial superiority over England, even though we just saw some American fighters shoot down our planes. We have enough fighters over the sky. That's a lot of support, right? That's a lot of fucking support. <laughs> Holy shit. Support planes. The good thing is that we don't even need to worry about the English Channel. We don't need to worry about it. The only thing we need to worry about is Southern England. 
right? They can put their planes anywhere else that they want. They can put it in the fucking North Sea. They can put it in, you know, the the Western approaches. You know what I mean? They can put this shit in the English Channel, even in the fucking Central Mediterranean. We don't care. Because we have air superiority in this region with fighters and all that shit and some rockets. We'll be able to drop some paratroopers as soon as they come. Oh, there they are. Okay. Let's stick these guys over here in this port. That's undefended for some reason, so let's go ahead and defend that. These paratroopers will make them into an army. We'll put them... We'll make a new a new theater for these guys. And we'll call these guys... We can fucking... Eh. We'll say paratroops. And they'll make us... That'll, so, so, we can, so we can prioritize them when we need to. We'll give them a general because it's better to have a general for something. Uh, I guess this guy because he's the best at everything. <laughs> he's the fucking logistics wizard. He's got offensive doctrine. He's got defensive doctrine. Fast planner. Charismatic. Right? And he's got plus 40 attack and plus 40 defense. This guy knows what he's doing. So he's the, he's the best bet for us to invade a port somewhere. And I'm thinking, I'm not going to put it on Dover because that's that's also a victory point as well. So that's going to be heavily defended. Probably just on Portsmouth because I just want to be able to get troops across the sea as fast as possible. I don't want to do something like over here. Maybe I should do something that doesn't have as many pieces of the ocean. As many blocks of the strait between them. I think they all have three little regions here. Okay, we have the final close air support. Let's just change that out real quick. I don't know why we're making close air support ones. There's threes. Oil? Where can we get oil from? Soviet Union? You're a fucking lifesaver. Even though you're an ass, most of the time, you're a lifesaver. And that is it. Do we need naval fighters? At this point, no. We will get some naval fighters as soon as we attack the United States. Before we attack the U.S., we're going to build up our Navy. But no, right now, we're building up our Air Force to attack the United Kingdom. As soon as we defeat them, then we'll build up our Navy even more and we'll get some fucking carriers and shit. We'll make ourselves uh, a fortress in Europe. In that case, we should probably start getting our naval doctrines as soon as we defeat the United Kingdom. What could we get at this point? Like, we don't, we don't really, we don't want more light tanks. We don't need more light tanks. Fuck it, let's just increase our navy and start researching naval shit. Researching some ships. It's 1946, we have five nuclear bombs. And the paratroopers still haven't got there yet. Hurry the fuck up. You guys are the turning point in this war, okay? For the UK. Now, the United Kingdom can hold every other fucking victory point on the planet down here in Africa. Uh, over here in the little piece of Malaysia right there. We don't care. They can hold whatever they want. It's not going to stop us from winning. So, are they here yet? Nope, they're right there. So what we're going to do is maybe we should just put them in the airport itself. Let's put them in the airbase itself because I'm not entirely sure how this works. What's this say? Division belongs to an army but has no orders assigned. Well, that's okay. And then we will assign them a mission to do a para drop over ports Portsmouth, okay? Ports Portsmouth, all right? Okay, good. Now they're there. Let's drop a nuclear bomb on Portsmouth. I'm going to say it like that. Skadoosh. Let's drop another nuclear bomb on Portsmouth. 
ba blam Let's drop another nuclear bomb on Portsmouth, right? Three nuclear bombs. If there's some divisions there, I'm going to be a little upset, okay? Because that's bullshit if there's divisions there. <laughs> Alright, now let's do a pair of drop order over from here to here. Yep, carry out the attack whenever you'd like. So what are we doing right now? We must have more than 70% air superiority in the next English Channel. So we need superiority in the English Channel. Okay. So we have enough planes to get superiority in the English Channel for right now. So let's put um, our heavy fighters our and our commie hawks in the English Channel along with the rest of our jet fighters. So as soon as that's good, that's done, we'll drop two more nuclear bombs on Portsmouth, and then we'll be able to... Let's actually just stick these guys in the English Channel right off the bat, and just issue an order of air superiority. That should be more than enough to gain air superiority in that region. <laughs> Fucking more than enough. So it's gonna take these guys a little bit to get there, that's fine. So it seems that we did indeed actually drop on to Portsmouth, but there were soldiers there. How there were soldiers there, I'm not entirely sure. Right? I'm a little confused in how that how that took place. So we're just gonna get these guys. Fuck waiting. These six paratroopers. And then we'll stick them in that exact same port. Air base. Give a new theater. Call them, you know, what they are. Paratroopers. Give them the best general on the goddamn planet. And then tell them to invade somewhere else that they can actually, you know, win. Because even though we have their superiority, for some weird fucking odd, oddball reason, <laughs> you know, we can't see anything in southern England. So we're going to have to find out how we can defeat England, because putting an airdrop after you drop three nuclear bombs into a port, and then airdropping in, apparently means there's still some soldiers there so they should stick to their own little sphere of influence sure okay I don't know what the fuck that means but that was extremely irritating okay let's just increase our anti-tank upgrades um it's probably because of probably because our paratrooper divisions aren't that great yeah maybe if we put more paratroops in there right so let's put another stack of paratroopers and then put some engineer companies and support artillery with them and save that. That should also modify the current paratroopers that we have. And they should be getting all of that right now. I want you to prioritize these paratroopers. How do I tell them to prioritize it? So these guys have all the equipment they need. Let's exit that out so these guys can get the equipment that they need. So they can have the ability to get all that goddamn equipment. Yeah, they're good. They, they're, they're good. They have enough, fortunately. Yeah. They'll have enough shit. In the meantime, we're gonna let them sit in the uh, air base for for a second. I'll let them recuperate their supplies and stuff, and then we'll tell them to invade another area. I would invade London directly with a para drop, but we all know how good that's gonna turn out. Even though we've nuked London and there's like fucking nothing there. 
What do nuclear bombs even do? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm asking. Are they that effective? They are nukes, so I mean they have to be pretty goddamn effective. That's what concerns me a little bit. I'm not sure how effective the nuclear bombs actually are. Because if they're not that effective, then there's no point in using them. Switch this out. We want to get the best of everything at this point. Because we don't want to settle for mediocre. We're going to settle for the sh fucking best. You know what I mean? The goddamn best. Kami Hawks. I think we have superiority in the English Channel now, right? We, we should. Kami Hawks should be attacking, beating the living shit out of all these planes here. Huh. We're not doing very well in the English Channel. Hmm. Well, fuck. Well, let's put some more in there. Where's the... 940 heavy fighters I had? Put you guys in this... port here. Traveling from... Calabria, and I'll give you the mission to do that, and then show some air superiority in there. Then that should be it. We should have air superiority now with those heavy fighters in there. There we fucking go. It looks like the entire British Air Force is sitting in the English Channel, right? How and why? I don't fucking know. Because they want to, I guess. Night Vision 1. Sure. Okay. Where are those paratroopers at? That's that's unfortunate. Looks like the Germans got some paratroopers. But these troops are going to go here. And then we're going to invade a port. Because we, we have to invade a port. Right? So if we don't invade a port, then we won't be able to get supply or bring any troops in. Doing naval invasions is fucking futile against the UK. Now, the, what's fortunate for us is that we have a strong air force, so we may be able to defeat the United Kingdom in the sky, which will give us the option to use paratroopers. But every fucking time we use paratroopers and nuke a port 40 times, there's always a thousand troops still sitting in there. Now, I've come to the conclusion that maybe I waited too long to invade that port, to be completely honest with you and they just reinforce the port but if they reinforce it enough where fucking four paratroop divisions didn't last didn't last two seconds then you know that's a little fucked up so before I end this episode I'm gonna see if these paratroopers here are able to defeat Somebody somewhere. I don't fucking know what port we're going to use. Maybe Plymouth. You know, maybe we're going to use that port. There's a lot of heavy fighters in the sky right now. We should, <laughs> we should have air superiority all the fucking time in the English Channel. non-stop why are we losing so much holy shit what is there close air support that isn't even a fighter that's for sh that's for ground shit that shouldn't be able to fucking defeat my kami hawks and fucking heavy fighters there's 339 regular active enemy fighters right so the 617 heavy fighters against them. We should be able to hold our own in this situation. It looks like there might be some other fighters in this region as well. Maybe the Soviets or the Spanish. Okay, we're nearly there. And then we're going to attack... 
Plymouth, right? We're going to attack this one. So once we get into position, we're going to nuke this. Oh, shit. We're going to nuke it anyway. Blue, right? Fucking crazy. Yay. Nukes. Nuke it again. Okay. Then we're going to nuke it again. Now, we're going to see if we can fucking carry on this attack. There's... Why is their organization so low? And how are these 19 divisions of infantry still fucking there? <laughs> Look at how many troops they have in this region, right? Does that make sense? That if I use a nuclear bomb three times, I'm not... Three nuclear bombs on a port, okay? gonna throw that out there three fucking nukes on that port and they're still there okay there's still 19 full divisions of infantry there and when you fucking para drop in your organization super what's the fucking point of a para drop what's the point that if there's a single enemy division there the entire attack is going to be lost do they not realize the creators of this game that when a para drop went in doesn't, despite there being enemies there, not all of them died at once. <laughs> Fucking, if the United States para-dropped into Hiroshima after the nuclear bombs went off, do you think they had resistance? Nope. Think they fucking went in there, walked in, do you think they had any resistance whatsoever in Hiroshima? Nope. That's because they had a peace treaty beforehand, but anyway, they didn't have because there was nothing fucking left. But yet... The British somehow persevere. They're like fucking roaches in this goddamn game. Can survive a nuclear blast. And watch as the divisions of... Oh, wait. Do my... Holy shit. <laughs> Call the rant off. Call the rants off. I was wrong. I wrongly accused the game of being unrealistic. Even though there were weird ass fucking 19 divisions and all that shit, we were able to take the port. Now, let's see if we can actually bring an inf infantry division over there without it being sunk by a British Navy. Nope, it got destroyed. Yep, somehow by fighters that are being pursued actively in the sky right now. How many fucking fighters do you want me to have? <laughs> in the sky. In order to beat them. How many fighters do you want? Okay, yeah, these guys are going to hold their own. Definitely. So I think I might just have to fight Britain with paratroopers alone. To be honest with you. But we've finally made it onto the British homeland. Can we attack here? Will this attack be successful? Yes, it will be. Kind of? Is it a successful attack? We'll figure it out next time. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, so much for watching. Hope you had a fantastic time watching this. Definitely had a fantastic time playing it. Um We're going to invade southern England now, finally finally invade southern England we were able to defeat all those British troops that were in that port well simply because we were able to nuke it so many goddamn times I'm surprised there's even a port still there yeah every every building here has been completely decimated so we're not gonna be gaining a whole lot from invading southern England but we're gonna gain the capitulation of the British. So, 
that's always a fucking good thing. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. You made a fantastic time. I might get a second episode up today. I'm not entirely sure. It took me a while to get this episode uploaded considering all the noise happening outside. It was really close to my house at some point and it was just kind of bleeding over into the microphone. You might be able to hear it early on in, earlier on in the video. So I had to stop and pause and I had family members coming in and fucking asking me questions and shit, it, you know, it, I'm, I might get the second video out, I might not, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna see if I can record it right directly after I'm done recording this, but anyway, thank you so much for watching, hope you had a fantastic time, hope you have a great and beautiful day, ladies and gentlemen, peace.